Hey guys, I'm back again. I am Dennis Kofi Amu Jr. And we are welcome to Dennis Online TV here on YouTube. You can follow us on Facebook. You can reach to us also on Instagram. Yes, join us as we bring you the best of great content at large here in Ghana and the world. Uh, we are going to talk about educational topic, a debate that has reached many, that has been felt within us. And the question is, has T-TAG, or as people normally say, TAG, that's Teacher Trainee Association of Ghana, been a blessing to us trainees or a curse to us trainees? If you think it has been a blessing, why? If you think it has been a curse, the question also is, why? Join us as we interview many students on campus for them to share their views on the performances on TAG. Join me. Let's make this one a cheerful one. Okay, I think TAG is a blessing to us because the TAG president, that's the national, Zunu Jonathan and the executives are doing a massive job for us. The last time he suggested that the teacher licensure exam should be steady as a course in the four-year degree program so that when we, fin when we complete school, there will be nothing like going to write exams and other stuff. So I think... Tag is a blessing for us. Tag has been a blessing to um, colleges of education in many ways, but uh, emphatically, Tag has been helping the students' body, that the college of education students' body, to get their allowances. And the allowances, much of the students, um, emphatically based on it, to pay maybe their fees and the examination fee and buy textbooks. So I think they've been fighting for us in that aspect. But what? I will plead on TAG is that they should consult their local TAG executives so that when they are going for general assembly meeting, they will collect the student body grievances so that they will present it at the general meeting. I think TAG is a blessing to the teacher trainees than CARES because they organize entertainment, leadership seminars, games, and other activities for the teacher trainees. TAG as an association is, 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 is a group of all training colleges, all, all teacher trainings in Ghana, that form that association. However, leadership has been chosen from the various SLCs in the various colleges of education in Ghana to represent the TAG, both the sectors level and the national level, to advocate for their members. Now, when you read the objectives and the aim of TAG, one main objective of them is to assist authorities from the various colleges of education, that's the administration of the various colleges of education to, to, to implement or issue developmental projects in collaboration with the various LSRCs in the colleges. However, I would say TAG has failed on that aspect to the extent that of recent days, we have not been seeing TAG members go from the national and the sector side, visiting the various colleges of education to find out as to whether there have been any developmental projects or not. We've not been seeing them visiting to find out and even questioning the LSRCs as whether they have done any developmental project during their term or tenure of office. We've not been seeing that. So how are they going to check or collaborate with the administration or the management or authority of the various colleges of education to find out whether there have been more developmental projects in every uh, uh, year as there have been changes in administration concerning the SRC. So if TAG has not been able to do that, it means TAG has failed. When you say TAG, the question is, has it been a blessing on trainees? And I would say yes, because um, the TAG constitutes each um, executive from the 46 colleges of education in Ghana. So this association comes together to help the students' body. That is the good benefits we get whilst we are in school. Um, it has been a blessing because, one, they think about the welfare of the students. The TAG Association serves as a link between the student body and the government. So when we speak, we speak through them to the government to help some of the challenges we are facing in our colleges. One is the allowance. You see, recently we've received some two months allowances. It is through this TAG that was able to push that agenda to the government to release that fund to us. So I would say that it has been a blessing. Thank you for recognizing my presence on this hot issue of nation concern as to whether the introduction of TAG 
has been a blessing or a curse to teacher trainees. For me, I can say with that tag, the introduction to the system has been a blessing in the sense that tag has made it possible for us to get closer to the nation in the sense that tag has been the bridge which has been bridging the gap between the nation that is the administration of the nation and that of teacher trainees we have to present our grievances to the nation and also our challenges and other things that we've been facing in various on various campuses of colleges of education so i think tag is doing more good as some people will be saying tag is causing harm i'm saying tag is causing good and also they help in setting up projects in the various colleges for instance in my school they recently mounted a pylon sign post on the side of tag being success i must applaud them there for example um on the side of fighting or advocating for student teachers or trainees on the side of the allowances have been very very brilliant or successful if not ranking them 90 percent will be 90 plus or more there's there's always an agenda for the meeting for the benefits of the college like the recent tag meeting we went we talk about some of the benefits tag is doing for other colleges and somewhere like tag has been able to um open a printing press in one of the colleges that served as an income to the college so these are some of the benefits we get from tag and two they have been able to construct or build a saloon in a campus where girls go there to do their hair and it's also serve as an income for the college so i think that tag has been a blessing since day one they also look at our academic performances how to improve them so that in case they get engagement with management they know how to talk to them to help in our studies one is the online studies that we were doing i learned the principals um agreed that the online should go on but the tag executive realized that some of us come from rural, rural areas where there's no light so if this online comes it is not going to benefit those who are coming from places where there is no light. So through TAG, that agenda was able to cancel because they wanted something that can benefit all the students, not part of it. So TAG, I would say, has been a blessing since day one. TAG has been a blessing to all teacher trainees in Ghana. In fact, TAG has brought all trainees to the center of discussion, as you can all see. So there is no rebuttal to the fact that Tag is a blessing. Yeah, look at how they structured their things on posting. Now they are working hand in hand with the Ministry of Education and other stakeholders to consider some factors in, in posting. I think language barrier is a problem. Some may be posted to voter region, northern region, of which they may they may not understand the language. But tag is working hard so that they can liaise uh, with the ministry so that they consider all those factors. But what I will suggest is that tag have to come down. Yes, tag have to come down because there are a lot of people here who don't even know tag at all. So they have to come down, do more of uh, centralization to the people so that they get more abreast with the structures of tag. Other than that, uh, uh, they, though they are working for us, but their work might be partial in vain because the people that you are working for, they don't know you. I think tag must come down so that they will come and centralize us so we get much abreast with their structures. All right, thank you. Not forgetting about recent issue that is at hand, um, that is on the side of the level 400s, is battle between them level 400s for from every college of education in Ghana and University of Education, that is Cape Coast University of Cape Coast. The issue is that UCC is saying level 400 students are to pay their teaching practical, which amounts to 370 Ghana cities. In addition to the second semester, which also amounts to 400 cities. However, when you are to add this or sum up these two amounts, it's going to be 770 cities. Meanwhile, that amount, as UCC recently raised, uh, brought out a letter that student teachers in level 400 are to hold on with the payment. UCC demanded or insisted for the payment. Meanwhile, TAG was not able to declare their stand. They just said we should hold on. 
So if you are to hold on, they should let us know, are we going to pay or not? If you are not going to pay, why don't they sit with the UCC authorities to issue a letter that because of this or per the meeting that we have had with your, your, your association or the body that advocate for you, which is TAG, we, we, we have come to into agreement that the student teachers in level 400 are to stop paying that teaching practicum and just concentrate on the payment of the second semester, which is what? The 400 cities.